Hey everybody, it's Thursday. I'm heading out shopping with this guy. He's back in the grocery haul this week. This week is, I'm hoping to spend a little bit less. I actually did my menu plan and uh, shopped my pantry before I left and made sure that I was making what I could with what I have. And I actually planned for the next couple of weeks. If you haven't been following our live events, um, we've got some major things coming up. Brianna's high school graduation, and Ricky is heading away to be a camp counselor this summer. And there's there's some other things that are coming up too. And so I'm really tightening up the budget here for the next few weeks. So what that means is that I am doing all of the things. It's like I've been kind of lazy about some things while money was not as tight, but for right now, I'm buckling down. So if you've been, uh, if you're in the same situation that you're like, let's buckle down, I'm here with you. And uh, let me show you my menu plan and talk about what we're gonna do as we go to the grocery store. Okay, so I sat down and I made a list of the meals that we're gonna make based on what I have in my pantry. So these are kind of the meats that we had on hand. And of course I didn't count the vegan things because I, I have vegan alternatives for most of these things. So I don't even think about it. I made a list of some meals that I might like to put on there. And I also um, made a list of some things that I might like to look for when we're at the store. But the menu plan is, uh, last night I made it, last night we had barbecue. Tonight we're doing chicken tacos. We have Passover lamb and roast on Friday. Um, Saturday, chicken fried rice. You can see it because that glare. Then we had uh, ground beef stroganoff and veg, breakfast dinner, chicken rice and broccoli, meatloaf, potatoes and veg, fried, Oh, excuse me, fish, rice, and fried kale, beef tacos, roast potatoes, veg. Uh, we have friends coming over and we're having not leftovers and pizza with our friends. Leftovers and. Sorry, there was an ambulance that went by. So, um, not leftovers and pizzas with our friends. We're actually um, scheduling to go out to eat for lunch with them. And then for dinner, when they're gone, we'll have leftovers and pizza with the family. Um, ham and potato soup, sloppy joes, sausage and cabbage, and chicken soup. And you can see this actually covers us for two weeks. So this is, a, the plan is already made for two weeks. And so this week and next week, I'm going to be getting as little as possible when we go shopping. So I do have a list of things that the family requested, including ramen, which is kind of a weird one. So now you know my plan, you see my list of things that we need, and this includes our non-food items like um, cat food and toilet paper and things like that. So I'm really going to try to keep it down as little as possible. So let's head to the store and see what we can come up with. Alright, so we are leaving the discount store. I gave you a little sneak peek of what we got. And I got more than I wanted to get. But that's partially because some of the deals were so good, I was like, we're gonna have to pick those up. You'll see in just a second. But there were a lot of three for a dollar and two for a dollar. And man, when things are less than a dollar, I find it hard to, to not buy everything. You know what I'm saying? So I still limited it. I still only got the very best deals that I could find, things that I actually had use for. Um, but we're heading to Aldi now. Look at Rick, he is so excited about Aldi. He can't even deal with life. So we're going to Aldi now and um, I'm gonna get some of the things that are actually on the list. Rick's coming from Aldi. He put the card up. Look at him. There he is. So I'm gonna drive. You don't mind, do you? No. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> All right, let's go. My hair's a little crazy. We did pretty well at Aldi. Uh, I think we spent pretty reasonably. So now we're going to Ingalls, our last stop for the day. And get our last couple of things and I'll show you what we got. If you've never seen an Ingalls, this is what an Ingalls looks like. And we're just finishing up here. And I got to stop by the Dollar General because we gotta get some more cat items. So this will be like groceries and personal item haul. And I'm probably gonna get gas too. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see how much this entire day costs here in a minute. Hey everybody, it's Amanda. It is Thursday and it is time for my grocery haul. Now, you've probably already seen a little footage. 
footage of me and Rick as we were preparing to get home and now I'm actually at home and I have all the numbers added up and I am showing you what we spent on our actual um, groceries, what we spent on our non-food items, which this week we got a lot of cat stuff, and what we spent on gas this week because I was actually just thinking, you know, wouldn't it be neat to just see how much we spend in a day? And I haven't spent any other money today because <laughs> that was plenty for us. But anyway, so I'm going to show you all the numbers and I've broken it down into grocery and non-grocery. And as I showed you at the beginning, we do have our menu plan. We have everything planned out for the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to tell you in advance. We went over a weekly budget. But as you saw on my grocery plan, we're planned out for two weeks. So I will go shopping next week, but it will probably be just a little stock up. And so it's going to balance out and be just fine in terms of our budget overall for the month. You'll see. We always keep track. We always give you an annual amount, and then you can see how we do. And actually, this year so far, we are so good on budget. Like, we are actually better than we've been in a long time. So I'm actually feeling really good about it. Anyway, let me show you the numbers and then you can see all the money that we spent today. Okay, it's a little bit awkward right here because I've got to squeeze you in and I can't show you who we're talking about today. But at my discount grocery store, I spent $21.40 and then at Aldi, we spent $35.51. Ingles, $24.30. Um, gas, we spent $45.75, and that was to fill up our truck, so just a side note there. Um, Dollar General, $18.56, Dollar General again, $7.44, for a total of $152.96, that's what we spent. Of that, $73.22 was actual groceries, so I had to move you over here so I wasn't in such an awkward position. So you can see we were... Um, $73.22 was groceries, and everything else was gas and non-food items. So our budget is $65 a week for groceries, and we're just a smidge bit over that. We're like $8 over. But again, we did two weeks this week instead of one week, so we're actually not too bad. And then I spent $45.75 on gas, so that left $33.99 for non-food items. And if you don't know, we budget $25 to $35 every two weeks for non-food items. So we are right on budget for that as well. So everything is actually looking pretty good. It's just a lot of money to go out the door in one day, in my opinion, for us. That's kind of stressful to me. So I'm really trying to, um, like I said, make sure everything is nice and tight this week budget-wise. That's, that's my goal. So let me show you what we picked up, all the awesome stuff that we have. I'll show you the receipts and then we'll talk about it. Okay, first here are my receipts. Um, we have a our discount grocery receipt right here, $21.40. Um, Aldi right here is $35.51. Ingles right there, $24.30. And then these are my $2 general ones. You see I we went to one dollar general, we were gonna get everything there, but they didn't have everything, so then we went to the second dollar general, and that's where that was. But we have, like, if you don't know, we have like eleven dollar generals in my area, so this was all on the ride home. I did not spend any extra gas to go there. So, and for those of you who are curious about my gas, let me just say again, in case you haven't heard before, um, these three stores are within a mile of each other, so I do not spend, I spend like 19 cents to go to these stores. It's, it's like not even a lot of money at all. So, and the Dollar General was on the way home, so that wasn't extra gas either. So just so you know, yes, I calculate the gas I spend. But let's talk about what I bought. Y'all, look at all these groceries, looking so good. First thing I wanna point out to you though, do you see this box? This is a giant box of yellow onions. Uh, lady at our church bought this box of onions. She lives in Georgia and she, she buys things in bulk sometimes. And people in our church, they kind of bring it and let everybody in the church take bags and take it home. So last night we were at church and everybody had bags and they filled it up and they took some to take home. And this is actually what was left over. This is what was left over. Rick and I always close up the church and the pastor was like, just take it home. I said, okay, I will. So all of this I'm going to be slicing and freezing over the next few days just to have it on hand. So I'm gonna have plenty of onions for a while. Won't need to buy those. And that was entirely free, but I just had to show that to you. So I'm gonna start over here with the Dollar General stuff because I'm gonna talk about the non-food items. Although this one actually came from my discount store. Um, so let me just mention this. This was $8.99. This is the cat food, the dry cat food that we usually mix with wet cat food for the cats. And it, this is a very large, I don't know if you can see it, 30 pound bag for $8.99. So that's a really good deal. We do have cat litter. This is the 
Dollar General Forever Pals brand of uh, kitty litter. And it's $5.75 for a very large box. So that's for Lady Art One Indoor Cat. And we also have here our um, Dollar General brand cat food. The wet cat food was actually on sale six for $2. So we got a bunch of that, and then we got a few more of the Friskies. They were 45 cents each. So I just counted up how many I needed for the next couple of weeks, and that's what I got. And then back here you have the toilet tissue, which I i don't know that I've ever shared the toilet tissue. Hold on. I don't know if I've ever shared the tissue with you that we purchased, um, but a lot of folks have asked me about it <laughs> for whatever reason, and I just have never shown it. But this is the kind that we always, always get. Um, it's a thousand sheets. This is this is the uh, Dollar General brand of Scott. You can see they say compared to Scott 1,000 sheet. And so you have these 12 rolls, and it's usually six dollars, but sometimes it goes on sale. So anyway, this is what we get. This is our toilet tissue, and we like it. We're very happy with it, and that's what kind we use. And I don't know why that was really weird to share, but it was. But anyway, let's go back to the groceries. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here with Ingles. Ingles was actually my last stop, and I went there for a few reasons. I didn't pick up potatoes at Aldi's because they didn't look very good, and Ingles almost always has potatoes on sale, a really good price, so I was taking a chance to go to Ingles and try to get them there, and they were. You get a 10 pound bag for $3.98, which is comparable to Aldi, except that the, pro the quality is better, so I was very happy to get that at Ingles. And then I picked up some of these brown and served turkey sausages. They were on sale two for three dollars, so I have got four packages for six dollars right here. The corn brand of uh, meatless uh, burgers were on sale two for four dollars and sixty-eight cents. And actually, all almost all of the corn products were that same price, two for four sixty-eight. So I also got two chicken patties for four sixty-eight. However, their sausage, the corn sausage patties were not on sale, so I did get Morningstar Farms because I really like theirs. And this was $4.48 for just one package, so I was glad to get that. And that was all I got at Ingalls, just this right here, just some last uh, things that I didn't get at the other stores. So over here, we'll talk to you about Aldi's and my discount store. And I can't wait to tell you about the discount store because we got some great deals there. But let's start with Aldi back in the back over here. Um... We got pineapple for 98 cents. I grabbed some grape juice for Passover and it's going, it was $2.39. And by the way, I, we also got a thing of stacks for a snack while we were out and we had that with lunch and it was a dollar. Side note, we got that at the dollar store and it is on the thing right there where it says a dollar so it was counted in my grocery budget. Okay, so then we got these chickenless tenders. They were $3.29. If you don't know, these are like some of my favorite things that I get at Aldi that are vegan. Really, really tastes good, guys. You need to try these if you haven't. So, $3.29, good deal. We got some sugar for $1.19. Some gluten-free rotini for $1.49. Kale, you know I had to have my kale for $3.19. And got to have Rick's spinach, you know how he loves that, for $1.19. Picked up some taco seasoning, three of them for $0.29 cents each. And two containers of eggs for $0.88 cents each. Grab some corn. It was 38 cents for a can. I got four cans right here. And then I also got two cans of the Fit and Active Cream of Chicken Soup. We got two cans of Rick's Tuna for 66 cents each. And then we got some more veg here. Well, fruit and veg, I should say. Uh, $3.99 for a bag of Pink Lady Apples. They were really tasty. They were gone very quickly last week. Um, the cabbage was $1.69, not the best price, but I wanted to have some. These strawberries smell amazing, I'm just going to tell you right now. They were $1.49, $1.19 for the mushrooms, $1.19 for the celery, and $1.39 for the asparagus. So we got lots of great veg, that was really good. And the, the last place I'm going to share with you was my discount store. I cannot wait to tell you about this. So first of all, peppers, this bag right here of peppers, green peppers, they were three for a dollar, so I got a dollar worth. Right here is my three. Rick got some steak sauce for a dollar and 69 cents on some Caesar dressing. So the kids had asked for ramen. And so I grabbed this creamy chicken flavor. It was 20 cents each. I actually had five packages, but two packages were already eaten when I walked in the door. So there's their ramen fix. 
I grabbed these Glutino gluten-free um, Pop-Tarts. These are strawberry toaster pastries. And these were actually 79 cents, so I grabbed those. And I also got these Annie's gluten-free oatmeal cookie bars for 50 cents. They were two for a dollar, so that was a good deal. Got these uh, organic dark chocolate chip chewy granola bars. And Brianna loves these. These were also two for a dollar. Hungry Jack Instant Potatoes, $1.29. That was a good deal. This was a really great deal. Um, the Peanut Butter Chocolate Blasted Shreds were two for a dollar. Like, psh, you can't beat that deal. So I went ahead and grabbed two. This Barilla uh, Gluten-Free Pasta was a dollar, and that was a good deal. But this was my best deal of the day, guys. The Bolt House Farms Amazing Mango. These were three for 99 cents. And this is the big one, the big boy. So I love mango, if you don't know. So I'm really excited to have that. And that is the end of our haul. So I have all of this great stuff prepared or purchased. And I have a menu plan. I think we're ready for our week. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put all this away in here in the next few days and be cleaning out my fridge and my freezers and getting ready for um, Passover, get all the yeast and everything out. And then I'm gonna rest. <laughs> A little bit and then try not to spend any money for the next couple weeks while I try to focus on graduation and Ricky's camping trip but I'll keep you posted on that and you can keep up with us on the live event so just a side note though we're shouting out right here Amber's family of four hey Amber's family of four um, if you don't know every week I shout out a channel that shares their grocery haul in the comments so uh, definitely if you have a grocery haul that you want to share put it down in the comments and then everybody can look at it and check it out and then maybe next week I'll feature your channel but last week Amber's Family of Four shared their grocery haul I watched it she is very serious about her grocery hauls guys if you I'm gonna link up the top and in the description box to Amber's channel and she has a family of four and she has a ton of grocery hauls on her channel like she is all about grocery hauls so if you're here because you love grocery hauls her channel would be one that you definitely want to check out. She's got a very reasonable budget. It's not as it's not as snug as mine, but I think it's one that would be snug for most people and one that I think that a lot of you guys could probably um, resonate with. So anyway, you definitely want to check out her channel. Super nice, um, definitely on a budget prepared lady. Check out Amber, shout her out, go subscribe, like her video, and uh, see just what it is that she's doing where she's shopping. And hopefully we can encourage one another to help everybody stay on a budget. It's budget time, people. So, all right, that is it. Don't forget to leave your grocery haul link down in the subscription box. Maybe I'll feature you next week, just like I did Amber. And we can go subscribe to channels and see everybody's hauls and be happy and save money. And it's going to be amazing. So, anyway, my husband is like tired and <laughs> He's waiting for me to hurry up and finish this up so we can have some snacks and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and put the groceries away but you guys come back next week and i'll have a new grocery haul for you and i'll also be sharing with you guys more on our garden how we're planting and getting everything ready for that and it's just gonna be a fun time so thank you for hanging out with us you guys are wonderful and i really appreciate you being here and hanging out with us so all right you guys have a great day we'll see you guys next time bye Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it because there's way more details there. And uh, here over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by and we'll see you next time. Bye.